All right, got another unboxing here. We have a PXW-X70, what you will need for one of these is these fancy schmancy SDXC cards because if you don't have these cards you're gonna have a problem because it only operates in uh, one of the modes with these cards um, and th this camera also even though it says 4k compatible this camera will only do 4k if you get the optional upgrade which is expensive you can go up to the website and get that You'll also need a neutral density filter of some kind, 62 millimeter. That's what this uses. I would get that just to protect the lens because if you kludge up the lens on this bad boy, you're going to wish you hadn't. Alright, manual. Let's see what else we got in there. Uh, little informational things. Limited warranty, which is pages. Following item is different than the description, blah, blah, blah. Talking about the power supply. Solid state memory camera. Camcorder. Oh, this is the firmware update. Got a whole disc for it, which is probably the online manual as well. All right, make sure you're in frame here. And we're gonna start taking stuff out of the box. Push this stuff out of the way. Okay. All sorts of good stuff here. This is absolutely nothing, but it was in front because I assume it keeps the lenses from getting boxed around. Speaking of boxes, goodbye box. Alright, start with the camera. Very nice. Pretty. Look at that bad boy. What a monster. Okay, score one. I'm gonna get uh, one of these filters on here right off the bat. I can get into the filter. Usually the safest thing on the planet is a filter because they get these things all right so get this little felt threaded in there be very careful not to cross thread these things because cross thread them you're gonna have trouble later on these are not the kind of things you want to have trouble with all right, got that. Put my little just want to make sure you're in focus there. Yeah, you are. Good. Little red dot here. Little red dot there. Line them up. Turns, locks it in place. Pretty easy. I'm going to put this on now because once I put the arm on, I won't have the leverage that I need and you really got to go this direction with it because it's just, now your eye is going to look into it. You really got to fight with this thing. Come on, get in there. You got to get right into that groove. I don't know if you can see the groove or not. Believe it or not, there's a groove that will set in there. But it is a little bit of a battle to get that in sometimes. Right side, you never ever have to do that again, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, that's done. Let me get some of the junk out of here. Get some of that junk out of here. Standard power supply. This particular camera charges the battery on board, so there's no external charger for that. Which is no biggie. Because batteries these days do a whole lot better than they used to in the old days. And I suppose you could always get an external charger for it and another battery if you were so inclined. Most people are not. Got our little USB cable. 
which you may or may not need depending on your application. Uh, let's see here, got DC in, HDMI out port, let's see, headphone jack, I was looking for the USB but I was trying to make that not super obvious, multi-port, I don't know what the multi-port's for, I think that's for cables that don't come with this. Because I don't think the multi-port's for the USB, is it? No, it is. It is for the USB. Okay. Well, the USB goes in the Jack Cleverly marked multi-port. All right. The SD cards, or the magical cards, are going to go in here. This will take SD cards, or it'll take that expanded card. Um, I forget the name of them right now, but the top slot will take a magical card. Bottom will just take SD cards or regular SD cards. So if you're going to use like a, a memory stick, memory stick Duo Pro, you can put those into the top slot. I don't know anybody who uses those anymore, so it really doesn't matter much. Oh boy, these are going to be fun. <laughs> it's like a waxy something. Hmm, I'm going to need some scissors. Okay. Back with scissors. I'm gonna make sure I get this done quick because these are the scissors that my wife uses to cut up chicken and stuff. Those are actually kitchen scissors. Probably not recommended for this procedure, especially if I get caught. So I'm gonna work fast. All right, get one card in there. Gotta hurry up and get this other card. I know I have seconds. Seconds are ticking. Seconds. Tick, 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 tick. Whoops, flip her around. If they don't fit, you're probably doing it the wrong way. Close that and dispose of the evidence. Thank you, KitchenAid. All right, now I'm gonna close that up. I got my battery, which I'll put on, but I won't turn the camera on. This is not charged or anything yet. And I'm gonna get this ready. So I can plug it in and charge it when I'm ready to go. Plug this in right now, I guess. Have that on standby. Get some more of this junk out of the way. There. You hide there. All right, we have this little thing, which is an accessory shoe, which is going to go on the piece that's not actually here right now. Oh, here it is. Okay, I don't mess with people. Nifty. Look at that. Boy, oh boy. This does a lot of things, and most of those things can't be done until after you access the menus inside. Like, for instance, the, uh, the microphones. Even though you have it switched on internal mic right now, you will get no internal microphone until you go into the menu system and actually access the internal mic, which is up here. Or you can use the two connections here right now. The in internal mic won't be automatically switched off until you start messing with these switches, but these switches won't do you any good until you go to the software-driven stuff. This will also transfer files via Wi-Fi. I don't know if you can see that or not. Wi-Fi symbol there. Okay, let's light that thing off. There's another counterpart to that right here. Get off there. There you go. And clip these two together. And after you're done clipping those together, you can chuck them. Okay, because you're never going to use those again. Unless, of course, you're trying to go incognito and uh, you want to sneak through an area and not look like you're a real professional. You can take and break it back down to this, make it look more camcordery. But chances are most people are just going to leave this on because, hey, you spent the big bucks to buy one of these bad boys. Why not use it? All right, so this is going to set down. 
in this little trough. All right, what am I doing wrong? I'm not far enough back, I don't think. Nope, there we go. And then it locks in. And you just, they're, they're spring loaded, so you gotta push them down a little bit. Get them both in first, loose, and then finish. There. Now, that lightens up the connection that's inside of there. That's why the thing has to drop down and lock in, because that's what makes these guys um, connected to the camera. All right, I have the remote control, which generally I don't use them, so I leave the tab in because I'm not going to bother with this stuff. And all right, that's back here. Plug in the Mac. Open her up. And it's awake. Now you're at the menu system. So the menu system is, uh, it's a whole bunch of different things that you got to do. Like in order to get to the main menu, you got to click the menu button over here. And then some things you can roll your wheel and other things you have to use this joystick. So it's, it's not super intuitive, but it gets the job done. And once you start figuring out what you're doing there, then you're okay until you get ready for playback. And then for playback, you're going to be going all over the place. There are some touchscreen features, and there are things that you just can't get to, and you discover that you have to hit the thumbnail button. And you use the thumbnail button, then you walk around with the knob until you get to the scenes that you want to shoot at. So it's a little confusing out of the get-go, and like I said, you have to go through the menu system in order to liven the microphone that's internal. Otherwise, you won't have anything to shoot with. You'll shoot video, but you won't get any audio. So there's a, sometimes you have to read the book for things like this, and I hate to do that. But anyways, that's it. That is the camera in a nutshell. Pretty nice little rig.